Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 and it reads for the heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown towards his name in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister and we desire that and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises first and foremost want to give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash it's double honors to the head apostle slash elder which is the great millstone the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible peace blessings and safety to all you sister occupants keep pushing keep believing keep the faith but God's with people here for a bear continue to fight that good fight of faith man Lord say he's not going to forget our work and labor of love we got to endure it to the end of course our works and our labors are not in vain Israel you got to know that yep there you go even the bird can cur even the birds can cur Israel he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. The Lord is not going to forget our work and labor of love. The reading, the studying, the lessons, the street teachings, the charity, which covers a multitude of sins, might I add. See, our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they can call God and Jesus. Scripture says he's not unrighteous. He's nothing like sleazy. That bird getting it in. Them birds getting it in. As soon as I said that, everything was nice and quiet. So I started bringing the scriptures out, and that's how it's supposed to be. The birds adding on, man. The animals hear this word going out, you see? this vi The vibration of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is in the earth again. The name of the Lord is being spoken in the earth again. We're declaring the name, the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew tongue. And, and everything's coming back to life, man. Everything is getting excited. We're getting excited. You see? We're getting excited. The animals are getting excited. I'm getting so excited, I'm hitting buttons. Let's get it again, though. Bear with me. Only thing I can keep saying is the only thing I keep hearing and the only thing I can keep saying is just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah, the road is getting hard. We're in these beat down, defiled, decrepit bodies. And we tired, we beat down, we working. The scriptures say this devil shall wear out the saints. But the Lord said, Look, I ain't forgetting nothing y'all doing. We got to endure to the end. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, right? So we got to endure to the end. But one thing about our power. We got a righteous power, all right? We got a just power. Let's get it again. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, it reads, For the heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, once again, who you equally call God and Jesus, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The Lord remember what we did yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, and the day before that, and, and the things that we're doing today. Sleazy, you could do something for Sleazy today, tomorrow, he forget about it. He act like you ain't did nothing at all. Because that's the devil for you, though, right? But the Lord said, I ain't nothing like this devil. I ain't nothing like this creep, all right? I'm nothing like this Neanderthal, all right? This base man. The Lord said, look, for the heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The Lord see us out there on the highways and byways going to get it. Prophesying. Telling our people to repent, screaming to the top of our lungs, going right back to Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. The Lord sees all that. He got the angels everywhere. So like you're pursuing to um, Proverbs, a whole lot of scriptures, but one that comes to mind is Proverbs uh, 15 and 3. For the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Lord's seeing everything. The Lord said, look, he's not going to forget our work and labor of love. If we endure to the end, 
which he have showed towards his name. His name. That lets you know we got the name. This scripture right here alone lets you know that we got the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew tongue, right? Because because soon we open open up a lesson, what we do? The first thing we do when we open a lesson is what? We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. When we close a lesson, what do we do? Give praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All throughout the lesson, what do we do? Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all. That's exactly what we do. So we so the Lord know what name we coming in, cause we confess it. And going right back to what is it? St. Matthew. And I'm about to get that too, Lord willing. Look, look in that ye have ministered. The word minister means to serve. Was, br was brought down here. Was brought into this ministry to serve. That's what the word minister means. It means to serve. So look, look, to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister, meaning we got to continue, right? He that endureth to the end, the saints shall be saved. And, and what would it say? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope. And to the end, everybody needs to be on board. All right? Everybody needs to be on one accord. The whole elect anyway. That's what I'm talking about. The men of the Lord is preaching this gospel. Need to be on one accord. Once again, even though we in these um, beat down, defiled, decrepit, you know what I'm saying? Bodies and shit. Just breaking down by the second. Pray for more strength to, to push forth this work. Pray for more endurance. That, look, 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 that we endure look, look, the full assurance. Show diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Because we're present of hope, right? It says that you be not slothful, meaning lazy, when it comes to pushing forth these videos. When it comes to pushing forth, yeah, yeah, the birds always add no. When it comes to going out there to the highways and byways, let us not be slothful. Just missing weekends, just to be missing weekends. No, it's look. You, the Lord said you can't take your hand off the plow. You take your hand off the plow, look, you're not even worthy to even enter into the kingdom. As the scriptures have said, that's Luke, that's Luke what, six? Is that not a Luke nine? Nine, right? That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith believe in something that you haven't even seen. And patience, meaning to suffer, was brought into this thing to suffer. And the scriptures goes into that too. I'm going to see if I can get that too. Faith and patience inherit the promise. He that endureth it to the end, the same shall be saved. And, and that horn chimed in. I'm, I'm taking it all. All signs. I'm taking all signs. Smooth this up. Um, to suffer. Because the Lord put the Spirit on us. We, it, we have been given the gift of faith to believe. And the Lord, no sense, put the Spirit on us to, to endure the sufferings too. I want to get this. This is a scripture I want to get right quick. Let's see. Yep, here it is right here. Philippians. Let's just get this. Look, look, remember, remember it, says, it says faith and patience until the end. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29, and it reads, For unto you it is given in the behalf of the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, will we part of that hopeful number? Could we call ourselves the hopeful elect? Because we don't know. We don't know what the Lord is going to do. We're constantly praying to the Lord. That we endure, that he keeps his spirit on us to endure. But it says Philippians chapter 1, verse 28. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus, not only to believe, remember going back, right back to faith, right? Because to believe is to, is to have faith, right? Not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. So the Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe. And the Lord has also put the spirit on us to be able to suffer, to endure the hardness, to endure the affliction. And we're constantly praying because the hour of temptation is fastly approaching. Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. You see, we're being slandered. We're being defamed. Starting off with the elder apostle. And Lord Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. Lord Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. It was another scripture I was going to bring out. I can't remember it, but it's all good, though. That was a heavy one right there. The Lord said, I gave you the gift of faith to believe in me. And I also put my spirit on you to, to endure the sufferings too, man. That's, that's beautiful right there, man. Because that's a spirit you're going to have to have. Oh, yeah, the water you have. But I wanted to get that Luke. St. Luke chapter 9. Because the Lord said, don't be slothful. You know what I'm saying? Be diligent when it comes to pushing forth this work, right? St. Luke chapter 9. And it ain't no looking back, Israel. 
It ain't no looking back. Look back for what? We go through this all the time. Look back for what? Ain't nothing back there. Ain't nothing back there but madness, uh, debauchery, abominations. What's, what's behind us? Nothing but abominations. Love, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. I'm going to have to get that too. St. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh shot said unto him, no man have put his head to the plow. Meaning you start pushing forth this work. You go out there to the highways and byways. You're bringing it out. Bring it out. You're bringing it out. That's right. And everything up under the sun, right? You're going to get it. The Lord said, no man haven't put his hand to the plow. You're doing this work. And looking back is fit for the kingdom of the heavenly father. Which is really the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Because it's going to be played out on earth, right? So the Lord basically saying this red letter too. Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Who they going to call Jesus. He said, you, you start doing this work. And you go back into the world. You're not even fit to, to enter into the kingdom. You're not even fit to get delivered into the chariots when they pull up. That's why we must fear. That's why we must fear going right back to Hebrews. Is that Hebrews, the fourth chapter? I might have to get that too. But this is a heavy scripture right here. That's why we walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah, the road is getting rough and it's going to get rougher. But, the, but we already know. We counted the costs already. We already know. If we take our hand off the plow, it's a wrap for us. That's why we constantly pray in Psalms 51, 10 and 11, each and every day. That the Lord keeps their spirits on us. To do what is right, to push, to push, to believe constantly. And I, I want to get this because I, I, I mentioned Hebrews, the fourth chapter. So I, I want to get it right quick. Let's just get it. And the beautiful thing about it, I, I just read, and I'm saying Hebrews, um, what was it? Hebrews, the sixth chapter, where the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. The Lord ain't going to forget nothing that we did. Well, look, we, we got to endure it to the end, though. We must endure and to the end. So this is Hebrews chapter 4. Bear, bear with me. I want to bring this out again. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pause the video. Pause, but I want to bring this out again. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore fear, which is the beginning of knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? Let us therefore fear, least a promise being left us of entering into his rest being delivered into the chariots entering into the kingdom it starts off with the fear you first and foremost once again got to be part of the elect Lord when we part of that hopeful number but remember the fear of the Lord is the first steps of being accepted of him right let us therefore fear at least a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of these Negroes, Latinos, and they're back is not fearing the Lord. You ain't entering to his rest. <clears throat> you ain't entering to the rest without fear. You you don't fear. You ain't entering to the Lord's rest without fear. And fear is a motivator too. I don't know if that was recorded earlier. Because all of a sudden the video paused on its own. But I but I want I want to go here. I want to go here. This is first John chapter two. Let's see. Basically going to um, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I want to get this though. This this is the verse I want. This is First John chapter two verse seventeen. And the world passeth away, meaning this age, sleazy age, right? The so the self-proclaimed so-called white man's rulership, right? Because his his heaven is our hell, right? We we all know that, right? It says, and the world passeth away. And the lust thereof and the wicked desires thereof. But he that doeth the will of the heavenly father abide forever. Remember we read early in Hebrews, the sixth chapter, verse 10. The heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. But we got to endure until the end. Oh, this, this is a heavy scripture right here. First John chapter 2, verse 17. And the world passeth away. How is this age going to pass away? By way of fire. By way of the missiles, by way of chaos, by way of violence, mayhem, you name it, man. And the lust thereof and the wicked desires. Everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to know your name and all that other nonsense. But the Lord said this age is going to pass away. The same age, you know what I'm saying, that these other Israelite groups are promoting pretty much. The Lord said it's going to pass away soon. And the lust thereof and the wicked desires thereof, right? But he trying to get a name for yourself, trying to be the damn deepest, all this other nonsense, right? Trying to get a large following. 
those wicked desires, the Lord said, it's going to pass away soon come. But he that doeth the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call God and Jesus, abide forever. Remember, the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. You know what I'm saying? And, and not to be slothful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and to continue to minister to the saints. Rem remember that? Remember that? I, I want to get this though. So we got to continue. Just a lesson on just pushing. Continue to push. I ain't nothing long drawn out. I ain't nothing deep. Just a lesson about just continue to push. Is this the one though? About the blood? Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Ezekiel chapter 3, this will be my last one. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Remember, Lord Yahweh said, Look, you take your hand off the plow. If you stop going out there to the highways and byways, you stop pushing forth these videos. The Lord said, Look, look, um, if you take your hand off the plow, you ain't even worthy to enter into the kingdom, yo. You're not even worthy. And that's scary right there, right? So we got to constantly pray to the Lord each and every day to keep his spirit on us to continue to push. What, what else is it to do, Israel? Besides push forth the work of uh, this wondrous, this wondrous work, this wonderful work, this wondrous work. What else is it to do, Israel, besides push the word of the Lord? Everything, all this, all this shit, corrupt this shit. You killing yourself for all this corrupt shit. How about you kill yourself pushing the words of the Lord? If you're going to go out, if we're going to go out, let us go out, you know what I'm saying? Pushing the work of the Lord. Fearing the Lord, having faith in the Lord. If we're gonna go out, if that's the Lord's will, you see, let us go out doing the right thing. Because the scripture says, if you suffer, suffer for righteousness' sake. Don't suffer as an evildoer. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one for me. So, so when we see the latest current events, we let our people know we warned them. We want them about the latest technology. We want them about the, um, the, the new legislation bills that's being passed. All of the above. We want our people, man. Or everything, according to the Bible, we want them about the wars, the storms, the floods, how the Lord coming, all of the above, right? Give them one. And we tell them to repent, turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all their wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings. Ours too. You see? This is, um,. And the Lord said, give them one for me. So this message is the deadly serious. Turn back, Israel. This message is the deadly serious. When I say to the wicked, the wicked of our people, the wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not the wicked, because because the wicked, the Edomites, they was they was created to be the wicked. There, there ain't no repenting in them. All right? Ain't no turning back in them. It's telling us to tell our people, the Israelites, to start to commit wicked acts. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Because we're telling our people to repent, right? The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. That same wicked man and wicked woman, Israelite, shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. That's why it's our job to go out there and warn the people. Because if not, if they get deleted, their blood is going to be required at the watchman's hand. Because we was given the word, just like in the time of Noah. Noah was Noah was warned that a flood was gonna come. If Noah wouldn't have went out there and warned the people, all the Israelites would have got deleted. Their blood would have been required at his hand, just like Lot. Lot warned his family members. He warned the people, right? Just like all the prophets of the Lord warned the people, because if they didn't, their blood would have been required at the watchman's hands. The Israelites that got deleted, their blood. So, so just imagine all the men that stopped teaching. Just imagine that Israel, all the men that stopped teaching, they went back into the world. Since the 70s up until now, they start warning the people. Throughout the 80s, throughout the 90s, even up in the 2000s, even in the, um, the YouTube era, you had men came and went, went back into the world, nowhere to be found. Well, the Israelites that they didn't warn, they're going to get deleted, but their blood is going to be required at that watchman saying, he really going to get it, man. The men that don't warn the children of Israel, you 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 have received the word, you didn't go warn them. That's your ass, man. If you take your hand off the plow, and that's your ass if you don't go out there and warn them. This message is deadly serious. The Lord ain't playing. He gave you the talents. The Lord said, don't put them talents up in a napkin, Israel. You are like men out there, don't put that talent up in a napkin, man. Don't hide it. What does it say? 
Yet if thou warn the wicked, if we go out there and warn our people, tell them to repent, tell them that this place is going to be destroyed, right? And he or she turned not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he or she shall die in his iniquity. That is sin, right? Because what to say, the wages of sin is death. What is sin? Transgressing on the law, right? But thou had delivered thy soul. You go out there and warn the people, the Israelites to get deleted, their blood is off your hands because you went out there and warned them. What to say? Um, where am I at? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Quick little lesson on man, just faith. The Lord is not unrighteous. Oh yeah, I do want, I do want, more. I do want to get one more. I want to get Saint Matthew, Saint Matthew. I want to get two. Hopefully this pad don't cut off on me. Saint Matthew chapter ten. I just want to get this right quick. Saint Matthew chapter ten. Okay. Saint Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty-two. And it reads, because remember the Lord said he's not going to forget our work and labor of love, we, which we, we have ministered to the saints. And, oh yeah, and we came in the name, the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, The Lord said, I ain't going to forget that. It says on um, verse 32, see Matthew 10, 32, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So we got the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And Lord, yeah, how should I say, Lord, you go out there and you confess me to the world, I'm going to confess you to the Father. Two separate, then you know it's two separate entities, man. Two separate entities. They're on one accord. It says 33, but whosoever shall deny me before men, you don't know. We don't know the name. We, we ain't going to get the name until we get in the kingdom. That's you denying the heavenly Father and his son. You see? Uh, you could call him anything. That's you denying, Lord Yahweh, but whoso shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is heaven. This is deadly serious. And the Lord said, right upon that, the Lord said, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So, so for all you clowns out there, because that's exactly what you is, all you damn clowns out there, you know what I'm saying? You damn charlatans. You see? You false prophets, man. You damn hypocrites. That are not confessing the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, in your darkest hour. The Lord said, I'm not going to confess you to the Father, man. And she going to get real soon, come, man. She getting real now. It's going to get, it's going to get real, real. You just like some men out there, man. You hope for Alex. Continue, man. Our labors are not in vain. Keep pushing. Shalom.